Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I did make a video a while back about Surah 86, verses 5 to 7, and I believe one of Christian Prince's minions found the content unsettling. So they decided that their master responded to it. In this video, I intend to make myself more clear, inshallah. Let's dig right into it. An expression used in Surah 86, verse 7. Al Taraibi has often been generally translated as ribs, as the expression denotes arched bones. According to Imam Razi in one of his works, he stressed that the first use, the very first use of this expression Al Taraib, was in reference to the female anatomy. So there has to be something peculiar to the female anatomy or to the female reproductive system that is encased by this Al Taraibi. Let us look at the anatomical structure of the chest. If this word was supposed to be uh, supposed to be translated as chest, let us look at the organs encased by the chest. We have the lungs, the heart, the esophagus, the bronchi. Actually, this picture is uh, incomplete. It should include the diaphragm, part of the stomach, gallbladder, pancreas and part of the liver. These organs in the male chest are identical to organs in the female chest. And there is nothing there responsible for, for uh, reproduction. Nothing. So there is nothing in the chest that exists only in the female body. Let us then look at the other taraib that exists in the body. What you are seeing is a picture of the pelvis. You will notice the arch of the two bones joining in the middle to form uh, an almost perfect circle. This is another view of the same bone and you should be able to see the round hollow in the middle of the bones. Now let's look at the bone and the organs encased by the bone. That there is a female reproductive system and we see the ovary, the fallopian tube and the uterus which is the medical term for the womb. These organs do not exist in the male anatomy at all. They are peculiar only to the female anatomy. To further, to further prove that this ayah is talking about the pelvis, let's look at the organ without the bone. Oh, sorry, the, the, the system, the organs without the bone. That's the ovary, the fallopian tube, and the uterus. When we zoom in, we have part of the uterus but the fallopian tube and the ovary are more visible now. Notice the path of movement of the egg from the ovary into the fallopian tube. This is the process of ovulation. And the egg is released from the ovary with a fluid. Note that. The egg is released from the ovary with a fluid. As Surah 86 verse 6 states that a fluid is emitted. This fluid in question is known as the follicular fluid. You're going to hear that again in this video. So remember follicular fluid. According to Ibn Kathir, the Prophet ﷺ described what this fluid, this follicular fluid, looks like. And I'll let Christian Prince read it to us. Please listen. So the Prophet of Islam he explained this. He said, in the fluid, the fluid, this is the fluid of the woman, is yellow and fine in texture. Hello? Thank you, Christian Prince. Now I want listeners to paint a mental picture. Let's go to 7th century Arabia and view a man with no formal education, with inability to write, inability to read, no access to labs, no access to hospitals, no access to syringes or surgical equipment. Let's picture him say what Christian Prince has just read to us. Now let's fast forward to our own time. With all the technological advances, the access to numerous research material, access to syringes and uh, surgical equipment, ability to read and write in most cases, and, and the privilege of a formal education. Let us look at what scientists say about the follicular fluid. 
I did post a link in the video description and this link is posted in PDF format so you probably need Adobe to read it so you can go straight to the page in question of the nine pages in page four of this research article these scientists describe the follicular fluid and this is what they had to say mind you this this uh, this quotation is under the subtopic assessment of increased proteins in the follicular fluid of bovine follicular cyst and in the third paragraph of that subtopic and I quote follicular fluids from normal follicles were generally palish yellow to yellow end of quote <laughs> did you catch that let's go at it again follicular fluids from normal follicles were generally palish yellow to yellow now I ask you where did Muhammad وسلم, get this knowledge if he were not a prophet a man who could not read a man who could not write a man who had passed away 1400 years ago at a time and in a society where basic formal education was a privilege to very few I don't mean to be presumptuous but I believe that many people who are listening to this right now are hearing about the description of the follicular fluid for the first time except you're into health science health sciences or you're aware of this hadith but 400 sorry but 1400 years ago somebody already knew it and described it in almost the same terms as 21st century scientists all I can say is Allahu Akbar my intention for making this video is to strengthen our faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and deepen our love for the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I hope I achieved my aim and at the same time putting this phony clowns to shame Christian Prince investigate Islam and his unintelligent very unintelligent followers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.